Imagine living in a society where your status at birth determined your entire life's path. Does it sound fair to you? Ponder on the weight of this question, it's a reality that many faced in pre-revolutionary France, a society steeped in rigid hierarchy, where birthright overshadowed merit. This was the spark that ignited the French Revolution, a revolt against societal injustice and a cry for equality. This was the reality before the French Revolution, a pivotal event that forever changed France and the world. The year was 1789, France was on the brink of bankruptcy and the common people were suffering. The country was under the weight of a severe financial crisis, caused by years of war and extravagant spending by the monarchy. Bread, a staple for the French people, was scarce and expensive, and the majority were being taxed heavily to fill the royal coffers. In a desperate attempt to resolve this crisis, King Louis XVI convened the Estates General, a legislative body comprising representatives from the three estates of French society, the clergy, the nobility, and the commoners. But it was the commoners, the third estate, who took matters into their own hands. They declared themselves the National Assembly, signifying a monumental shift in power. And then came a moment that shook France to its core, the storming of the Bastille, a royal fortress and prison, on July 14th. This event became the symbolic start of the revolution. The Bastille had fallen and with it the old order began to crumble. From a fight for equality, the revolution quickly spiraled into a bloodbath. As the revolution progressed, the radical faction known as the Jacobins seized control. Their leader, Maximilien Robespierre, was a man of uncompromising principles, and under his leadership, the revolution entered its most terrifying phase. The king, Louis XVI, once the symbol of absolute monarchy, was put on trial for high treason and crimes against the state. The verdict was unanimous, and Louis was executed in January of 1793, an event that sent shockwaves through Europe. But the death of the king did not quell the turmoil. The revolution had developed a taste for blood, and it was insatiable. This was the reign of terror, a period marked by mass executions, paranoia, and the ever-present guillotine. It was a time when the slightest suspicion of disloyalty to the Republic could lead to the guillotine. Thousands were executed in public squares, their deaths cheered by crowds whipped into a frenzy by revolutionary fervor. Robespierre, the orchestrator of this terror, justified these actions as necessary for the preservation of the Republic. But his reign could not last. As the terror intensified, so too did opposition to Robespierre. In a twist of irony, Robespierre himself was arrested and sent to the guillotine in July of 1794. The reign of terror ended with irony as the orchestrator of terror Robespierre himself fell under the guillotine's blade. The bloodshed was over, but France was forever changed. A new chapter had begun with the establishment of the Directory, a five-man committee that sought to maintain balance in the wake of such upheaval. Yet stability was not easily won. From the ashes rose a figure of profound influence, Napoleon Bonaparte. A military genius, Napoleon seized control in a coup d'état, replacing the Directory with a new political structure, the Consulate. His rule, characterized by swift reforms and territorial expansion, marked the birth of the French Empire. But the French Revolution's impact reached far beyond its borders. It ushered in a wave of radical political and social change across Europe, and eventually, the world. The notions of liberty, equality, and fraternity, once merely lofty ideals, became tangible goals for nations to pursue. The French Revolution, a tumultuous period of just a decade, reshaped not just France, but the course of human history. So, let's take a step back and look at the bigger picture. We began this journey by exploring the societal injustices that set the stage for the French Revolution. The common people, weary of their hardships, ignited the spark of rebellion, leading to the iconic storming of the Bastille. This event marked the dawn of a new era, a period of upheaval where the old order was dismantled brick by brick. From there we delved into the reign of terror, a chilling chapter where the quest for justice spiraled into a bloody massacre. The guillotine, once a symbol of freedom, became an instrument of fear. Yet, even in the midst of chaos a new order started to emerge. The French Empire was established, ushering in a new era that forever changed the world. The French Revolution was a testament to the power of the people, a chilling reminder of how quickly a fight for justice can descend into chaos, and a turning point that forever altered the course of history. Remember, history not only tells us where we have been but also gives us hints on where we might be heading.